So here I am, moments before the servers supposedly are meant to go live, and uh, <coughs> boy howdy, <laughs> I am really excited for this. Um, so far I have not shaked anything um, gameplay wise. I know a lot of bigger YouTubers, they've shown a lot of gameplay, um, but I'm not spoiling myself in any bit. I'm currently just having the music be blaring in my, in my headphones. The menu music alone is just, it really makes you pump for the game, alright, it really does. Um, like I stated in my previous video, I'm not gonna showcase any of the gameplay myself. Seeing how this game is meant to be a representation in many ways of souls and generals, and it seems to have a mixture of everything we like from many of the other games, I highly doubt this is gonna be a disappointment. But oh man, um, let's hope there's not too many bugs in this, I mean, even though it might be an early version of Elden Ring. Um, here's hoping that it's also gonna be polished. Alright, the servers are up. Let's see here. We have five classes to choose from. They even showed it on Twitter. I'm personally gonna try out Enchanted Knight. I feel like that one seems to be probably pretty fun. There we go. Alright, so that was uh, Elder Ring then. Just from this little gameplay, I can definitely say that this is going to be probably my favorite Souls-like game. Um, it it just it it's hard to really boil down everything that like you get to experience in the test version. But let's just say that like from just alone the small little things that I have witnessed to, this feels like it's going to be the best of the entire franchise. Um, because Dark Souls 3 was always my favorite in terms of combat and variety of styles when it comes to um, the many weapons, the customizability, and the spells and everything. Um, then you have Bloodborne, which was uh, my favorite over the bunch, but Dark Souls 3 is my favorite of the Souls franchise. Bloodborne is my favorite because it is such an aggressive and speedy version of it, and I really like that aggressive playstyle. This feels like it's in that direction, but it's centered in a Dark Souls sort of world, really. The world itself is quite uh, quite beautiful uh, in its spectacle. Uh, just seeing everything around the landscape was amazing, and it feels like it's going to be a really, really big world we get to explore. I would say, well, I do wish that um, there was more fluidness to the combat on the horseback. I don't know, for me it felt a little clunky over the whole idea that like you can you can attack which was pretty smooth for all things considering you can do your heavier swings to deal more damage or lighter swings and all that but I feel like the in-between moments of you trying to do the attack and then you're being able to like dodge and stuff on your horseback it feels like there is a little bit too much of a delay there that kind of hinders that more smoothness I would otherwise consider the horseback run to be like it's really good overall it's just that tiny delay of when you are about to attack, when you are attacking and going to dodge. That is something that I wish that uh, was a little bit improved, but overall I would say that the horseback riding in combat is pretty spot on, it's, uh, it's really cool. The little dungeon uh, cave that I got to go in was like a mine that was very reminiscent of Demon Souls mine, um, with its own unique enemies in it. And uh, there was a boss at the very end of it, or in rather more of an optional area in that place. Um, it was this big lumbering giant that had like a huge club and all that. It was um, really cool. Actually, it was not a giant, it was a troll actually. You gotta be correct with that. I've of course only played one class so far. I I just got so soaked into the entire world and how well the ring really feels. Um, but uh, for the rest of the days, I'm going to attempt to do it again, but I'm going to play on different characters if that is allowed. I really hope so, because I would like to try out the other, uh, the other classes. Enchanted Knight, um, I do it like, because I'm usually a magic user or a pyromancer, typically. Um, the only thing I just didn't like was the starting weapon, really. Um, I've never been a fan of spears, despite the very long range you can have on it and safer distances you can hit people with. It just never de dealt enough damage to me. So I'm not a big spear fan, really. Um, but of course, I eventually found a blacksmith that allowed me to buy a sword from him, so I was I was mortified. Dogs are back, and uh, the majority of the time I've fought any dogs, they did not glitch into existence like they do in Dark Souls 3, so that was something good. Yeah, I'm still speechless just trying to wrap my brain around everything that to do 
from everything from learning how to horseback and fighting the tree sentinel to fighting the dragon with uh, while on horseback um, taking down a giant that was wielding like a massive sword he was like just barely smaller than Jorm the giant and he was just a normal enemy uh, and his sword was probably half the length of Jorm's machete and he was like rushing after me really rapidly like not slow or anything no 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 we're not talking the Dark Souls 2 giant we're talking Jorm the giant but faster kind of giant I mean holy crap I would say the only bad thing about this if anything was that uh I'm bad at it. <laughs> I freaking can't wait for Elden Ring, and I absolutely love the test version. I am so happy and so fortunate that I actually got to play it. Like, I couldn't believe it. Um, and here's hoping that I can actually create a different character by the end of the day, um, when the servers go up again. I would really love to do that and try out the other character to see if I can find my right playstyle for the very beginning and all that. Um, but yeah, other than that, um, absolutely, I will highly recommend Elden Ring <laughs> already. I will absolutely recommend it. Um, and thank you for watching. Um, <laughs> I'll see you around.